Pass around and pick another roamer and put the Grok in the EXP lane. <laughs> but uh, I'd see them right now. I wonder if they're thinking about the export again. But no. You, you give Flight Chick in here the ultimatum. He's like, all right, you either join that fight or we join that yeah. fight. <laughs> Just the glory of having that fight. Oh uh, on the ball. Favorite uh, talent right now for the Fred. It really allows him to keep things uh, up to speed in terms of his rotation. And of course, those little micro movements he can dish out of the Sing, uh, sing! Top go. See, they're getting hit. All right. Side. Yeah. Uh, Team Indonesia is on the red end. There you go. Uh, our overlay has updated. Forcing a flicker from good as well. Okay. Of any team fight. If Let's say you bite down on Saki, you bite down on Moreno. Gotcha, bitch! Oh, there's a hook! Oh, there's the big hook! Cerizo already forced to use the ultimate. Is he gonna get taken out? It looks like he's gonna be able to get away with a skin by the skin of his teeth. Check out here comes the dragon with the first blood from White Chicken. It's actually the Franco that gets the last hit there in the turtle, but that's still gonna be a win for Team USA. Oh, gonna try Wiley Vin. This is a huh? multi time okay. professional champion from Indonesia. And for a good, what, year and a half, mm -hmm. I called this young man. Franco man, because he played Franco so well. He knows the extent that Warrior can push his hero's limit, and now Super can hey, get punished. Ooh. Of course, there at that situation there. Punishment, it looks like that might actually be a secure kill on the Super Ken. That's right. We have some dashes available, but with how close the Fredrin and the yeah. Kadita are. Unlikely. Highly unlikely there. Oh, it's going to be damaging there for uh, Team Indonesia to lose such a key player at such a key moment. Yep, uh, this is going to open up the jungle. I'm not so sure what buffs uh, are, are open here. I, we definitely need a peek into the mini map there. But yeah, no, if Super Ken does fall here, which he likely is going to, about 99% sure, then best believe this roaming duo from Team USA will invade. Yeah. They will push the advantage and they will pick up the tempo. And best believe this will spell a difficult mid-game for Team Indonesia. Yeah, uh, based on the last things that we saw there, Team Indonesia might actually look to get a trade. We saw Super Ken get caught out, but there were three other members of Team Indonesia on the bush closer to the top side of the map near the middle river where they got to catch out two or three other members there. All right, so that's also Team just USA. waiting to yeah, unfold. Yeah, yeah, that's waiting to okay. unfold. So the pick off on Super Ken and the potential trade little skirmish coming in from Team Indonesia. Uh, when we go back into the game. All right, so there's that happening, uh, but it's just about to happen, all right? We're basically Dr. Manhandling this. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're looking at all the possible realities that could happen right here and now, and for sure, Super Ken's gonna go down. Like, yeah. that's definitely a thing, but what about that 3v2 that we mm -hmm. were talking about? We don't know quite yet. If it doesn't, mm -hmm. then that just shows that Team USA have found their flow. They've found uh, their wavelength as a team, a hastily built team uh, that had very little time uh, to assemble as they went into uh, IESF in Romania. Quick note, they were smack dab in the middle of their NACT yes. for their qualifiers to the World Championships, M5 happening in the Philippines, and then Th these are players from different teams, right? Mm -hmm. And then they were told, you know what? You're all flying out to Romania. They're going there. And that's what's happening here. That is, this is the fruit of that procedure, that process. Mm -hmm. So it just shows you the kind of raw talent NA has in the face of the Terminators, in the face of a team, Bigatron Alpha, that have been playing together for what? The better part of two years. Yeah, and it takes a lot of raw talent to bounce back from what happened to them in game number one to make it competitive in game number two. And now it looks even more, even closer here for this game number three. We talked about it at the end of game number one. Team USA will need to adjust. They ad in game two, they adjusted their draft. It still leaned towards Team Indonesia, but then they played it really well. Now in going into game number three, uh, part of me leans a little bit more to Team USA in terms of their drafts here. For sure. Despite them giving a good amount of utility for Moreno to steal away as the Valentina, they're handling it relatively well. Likewise, uh, I would say I resonate with you 100%. I concur. Mm -hmm. And with that, you have to wonder, what's going on with Team Indonesia? Uh, I, have to, I have to say, starting from game two, midway, Vin hasn't been as in sync. Mm -hmm. And I'd hate to pin the loss in game one on one player, uh, game two rather, on one player, but the fact that he missed a kick yeah. on best player may have been the nail in the coffin. But now, with a Grok in his hands, he was off to a great start. He isolated Fight Chicken, right? 
how do they ramp that up? He's going to be, this is a understatement, He's going to be instrumental in the comeback. He has to play this croc out of his mind. Yeah. Ball down one by one. And it's that kind of stakes. It's that high possibility of Team USA just barreling through mm -hmm. that Team Indonesia has to deal with right now. The world is watching, folks. This is the highest profile MLBB tournament happening in the world right now. And we are at the precipice of this, how do I say, canon event. This is a canon event. Can this I is say, a canon event. If Team USA wins here, in the midst of a hashtag end of an era situation with the Philippines and all that, mm -hmm. you have this happening. You have in the first broadcasted bout, Team Indonesia falling in the hands of Team USA. Yeah, they will set the precedent here.